Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today behind me, I have an absolutely beautiful Class A motorhome. This is the 2024 Tiffin Allegro 32SA. You will find the specifications, the length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff down in the description of this camper along with my contact information. So if you're in the market for, uh, for one of these, I'd love to be the guy that you work with. But again, it's the 2024 Tiffin Allegro 32SA. Probably knock out about a 15 to 20 minute tour here on this one, so a good little walk and talk. If you don't mind, help me out, help me reach my goals. I'd set a new goal of 40,000 here by the end of 2023. So hit that like and subscribe button and aid me in that. I'd be grateful for sure. But let's go ahead and get right into it. We're gonna start on the inside today and then work our way around. But um, you know, this is gonna be predominantly a couple's coach, but it has the ability to sleep a couple extra folks, you know, with the table and that couch right there pulling out. So really nice open floor plan. You see the decor, I personally think it's absolutely beautiful. Hand laid tiles on the floor too, that doesn't hurt. But Tiffin just does everything right. Even the cabinetry is custom made at their very own shop. So everything is gonna be made by Tiffin in general, very few things are gonna be, you know, kind of uh, you know, pushed out to other companies to do things, which is nice. You know, it just makes things a little bit more stable, a little bit more even. So right up here in the front is where I will start the tour. But what I notice is big open windows. Not only is the front, you know, where you're driving really clear view, but you also have big windows to the right and the left with absolutely massive mirrors as well. So it just makes for a really easy driving experience. You know, you don't have to feel cramped up and boxed up. You also notice too that they open up, you know, and they're, um, most of the windows are gonna be tinted there as well. But pretty big spacious area, a little bit of overhead cabinetry along with a couple fans just to help keep you cool. This is gonna be the 7.3 liter Ford chassis you see you got all your buttons and whatnot. I didn't bring the keys with me, so I can't light it up. But you know, your gen start, auxiliary start, map light, you know, all that good stuff. And then pretty classic, you know, up here, but your solar shade, of course your auto leveling, your heat and your AC, a couple cup holders and some places for some storage. One thing I do like, and I know it's a uh, you know, pretty simple thing, but you know, the chairs are all pretty much, you know, uh, a button, a couple buttons, and you can control, you know, the whole thing a Rooney. Right here's a little tray too. Thought that was pretty cool. Pulls out. That's pretty neat. Nice little added touch. You're also gonna see you get a little window right there to help maybe protect you, you know, from like a blind spot or, you know, I don't know, maybe if you got a dog, they can poke their head through. You got a bed, the Euro Loft. It's gonna drop down. So another sleeping for one to two. I believe it has a weight rating of five, 400 pounds. I'll have to double check on that. Don't quote me on there but you're gonna get this big old super slide and you see you got all the cabinetry that goes over. I am six feet tall for reference. The head height is gonna put you somewhere around, I would guess about six one. So you don't have to worry about bonking your head unless you are a pretty, pretty large individual. Hands free right there, babe, if you're watching, I love you. But look at that woodwork, real solid wood and it's all cut out in their custom cabinetry. So that's gonna be the same thing going all the way down. So right here is gonna be a table for four. It can also drop down, you know, and make some extra sleeping space. So that is awesome. Check out how comfortable these things are. And if you could feel it, they just feel really high end. Keep moving along. Outlet, outlet, touch pad for all the lights. And then you got the old Dracula shade sitting down right there. Stop the skin from sizzling, stop things from getting maybe a little bit warmer, or uh, you know, keep some nosy eyes out. The windows do, again, open up for a good breeze. This sofa, you got your seat buckles, but you can also lift it up and you can pull it out to make a bed space that gives you just enough room to kind of squeak by. Again, the floor is gonna be those hand laid tiles, just looking really nice in general. And then right over here is gonna be your kitchen area. So you get that solid surface countertops, it's gonna be that same pattern. If you chip it, it goes all the way through, which is always a plus. A little couple stowaway, you know, hideaway kind of outlets right here. So two outlets, two USBs, you can get them out of the way. You're good to go. 
ceramic tiles as well with a little window and the old Dracula shade hanging down, you know, so hopefully you can catch a good view. For the sink, it's going to be the split undermounted stainless steel bowl with your residential finish here on this. Look how sharp that looks and it's whoosh, 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 hitting those dishes from all angles, baby. Underneath, access to your plumbing and even a little bit of storage. You also get yourself a little, little mini trash can, so that's always nice. Three pull-out drawers and look how long those are. And they're also going to be the soft clothes. That would turn into a drunk drawer for me and my family. So right here, underneath this, I love how they did this took this top right here. This is actually the place we're going to be doing your cooking. So you lift it up and then you fold it. You also see it's kind of spring loaded back there to keep it nice and secure. But you just snap it into place and then you got your Furion burner. So cooking up all the fixings for you know for your dinner. You also got the LG microwave right there. It's gonna be one of those convection ones for you. Doesn't get much nicer than that. And they also have the little little ledge in there. So you're about a knuckle and a half deep. Both storage right there. Bada bing bada boom. Top one's a little bit smaller than the two bottom ones. And then you get three more, you know, right here as well. Touchpad is looking fancy as ever. You got your home screen right there. Show your house power. You know, the chassis. You can set the temperature controls to two different areas, which is nice. You, know, you just kind of drag it along. So right now I've got it set pretty cold. I got the door open and I'm trying to stay cool. All your lighting controls. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of good stuff to play with. And then, of course, you know, your slide operations are going to be right here as well you know, extend and retract. But I love how that's going to be that touch screen. Big old LG refrigerator. You can see that this is going to be just like the one inside, you know, of a lot of people's homes. You can put a week's worth of groceries in this bad boy. Absolutely no problem. So you can truly have, you know, a home or an office on the road, whether you're using it for weekends or if you're using it for months or possibly even living in it, you have the ability to do so with a little bit of more of a, you know, residential touch. You also get the 30 inch uh, Furion fireplace and that's going to be able to heat up 500 square feet of RV so in an RV this size and the location that it's in it'll really heat the entirety of this RV you know on a day that's about 45 degrees or so the added insulation you know inside this RV definitely doesn't hurt so it's going to keep it nice and warm I think that is just a spectacular view this is a great looking coach and I'm extremely stoked I am learning so much about the motorhome industry for those of you that have been watching my videos, you know it's been a lot of travel trailers and fifth wheels, but it is really exciting to get onto some new stuff. I'm still going to be doing, you know, the uh, the travel trailers and fifth wheels, but getting these motorhomes in, I got to learn it, baby. Got responsibilities. <sighs> Look at that! You even get some fancy pants art. A little water tower right there. How nice is that? You got the shower. A little thin on the interest on that. You definitely got to be a uh, you know flat belly, but for us roundies, all you do is just move it over there, and you got the tri guide glass series, so that way you know you can get on in. So, again, I'm six feet tall. I weigh roughly about 295. On a good day, I weigh 290. On a bad day, I weigh 300. This one's <laughs> kind of an in betweener, but uh, had a pretty had McDonald's for lunch. I caved. It was delicious though. I had one of those quarter pounders. Probably shouldn't have done it. The wife, if you are watching, please do not, uh, please don't get mad. And then the shower miser. So if you're not familiar with that, essentially what it is, is when you turn on your water, you flip this piece right here and that water will circulate inside the tank instead of coming out of the shower head. And what it allows it to do is it heats up the water before it comes out. So that way you can save some of that valuable water you know, if you're maybe doing some off-the-grid camp in there for the night. Got the bedroom. But look at this bathroom. Really spacious. You also get good use of space with some places to hang up some towels. I love seeing that. You know, it's you do a lot of the little things right, and, uh, you know, big things will come out of it. And I love how Tiffin does that. I'm quickly realizing Tiffin is a well-thought-out, well-built RV in general. And, uh, you yeah, know, that's always a perk -a rooney The old porcelain throne. 
So even a bigger fellow like myself can sit down, feel a little bit secure. You don't have to worry about some of those plastic ones. You know, when you sit down, you just have, uh, just feels kind of chintzy. It feels like you might be breaking it. But I suppose that's, uh, it's only a couple of us problem. Got a fantastic fan there to help suck out the steam or the stink. And bada bing, a bada boom. Right there, you got the bowling gun, baby. I think we're actually going bowling this weekend. Having the off season is uh, it's killing me. I usually bowl year round, but not right now. Oh, I forgot to show you too. Boom, boom. Access to your plumbing and some storage. So east to west bed on another slide out. So I like seeing that. You're also going to see you get reading lights over there. And you also get a couple more lights right there too as well, you know, which is always a big time bonus. You're also going to see outlets on both sides of the coach and USB, USB, along with a little bit of, you know, storage that they snuck in, you know, maybe put, um, yeah, just like a thing or two. You also have a, uh, <laughs> or a thing or two. Uh, yeah. Next up on educational RVs, you can store a thing or two. So right there, got a residential feeling fan. Got the little slider door, move that over, and you got your combo unit right there. So it is an automatic washer and it has a vented dryer. So it's going to work a little bit better than some of your combo units out there. Uh, but it'll wash a little bit more than, you know, probably what you're wearing. And uh, yeah, do it with uh, pretty relative ease. Automatic light here up in the closet. And I love seeing this. It's really nice and spacious. You got the hanging bars. But check that out. You got all the stuff that I'm going to dress up for the bed here uh, probably in the next you know, a couple days. And then you get the dresser system. You also get a little hamper. But you're going to get four of these, and they're all going to be looking just like that. So plenty of places to store your clothes. Emergency exit, pull, push, and plop. You get a good breeze on either side, so on that cool day, let it fly. You're having a good old night. You got an LG TV, and this is going to be on a swivel, so you can pull it out and angle it. So that way you can watch a movie, you know, in bed. You don't have to worry about watching on the side of the wall and then you get a couple more right there as well but all right guys I think that's about it here for the inside I'm just going to give you another little look around and then I'm going to go around the outside show you where everything is and show off the storage which by the way is absolutely incredible so again this was the 2024 Tiffin Allegro 32 SA Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys have made it this far. It definitely helps out. And I'd greatly appreciate you. Don't forget, too, again, you got that bed that drops down. All right. Specifications. Length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, again, are down in the description of this video, along with my contact information. Let's go ahead and get showing you the outside. You got some LED lights right here. Big old awning that comes out. Paint job on this is looking fantastic. They do have a couple options. Uh, possibly I'll drop a link to the manufacturer site since I am, you know, still in the learning stages of this. I don't want to steer you wrong. So I'll put that so that way maybe, you know, you can look and, uh, you know, see a couple things for yourself, I guess. Frameless windows looking really sharp. Automatic doors or stairs when you close the door. So that is pretty cool. And how nice is that? That is highfalutin. 25580R22.5 XRV for the tires. That's going to be a Michelin. Very, very nice tires. Again, it's going to be on that Ford chassis, that 7.3 liter. You got your Truma AquaGo. Doesn't get much better than that. You also get the exterior TV. But this is what I love about this coach is you get tons and tons of storage. So that's going to be a pass through. And then also, too, on the doors themselves, look at that. And they just close that easy. I mean, how nice is that? It's your central vac system right there. But yeah, here again, I mean, look at this. Look how effortless this is. Boom, slam latches right there. It's going to be one of your tanks for some of your water. That's going to be for your, uh, for your aquamizer. More storage for more belongings. And then right here is going to be for your batteries. So four batteries on this, your battery disconnect, and then your inverter master switch there as well.
just a beautiful coach. I cannot wait to learn more and more and more. I also see right up there, you can see that little black bar. Hopefully you can see it. Maybe I'll zoom in here for you. But obviously fully walkable roof. You can get up on there, you know, check everything that you need to maintenance wise. But right here, you're prepped up for the Lippert on the go ladder system. So about 285 bucks, you get an expandable ladder that comes from the uh, you know, top and it hooks in to those two little openings. Let me see if I can show you yeah, right there. So that way you can get on top and do your maintenance and check everything. Right here is going to be your backup camera right below that beautiful Tiffin logo, open road Allegro looking really sharp. You also have your hitch right there. Gas fill. This is going to be where your um, where you fill up your or where you put your cord. Then you also got, you know, your inverter and all that good stuff right there as well. Onan 7000. That is a big boy generator to fuel up and power. It's absolutely massive, coach. You got your docking station right here, so you have water in the form of uh, outside shower, so hot and cold water. Your tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Solar input, and then your tank fills, outlets, water pumps, all going to be right there. More storage. And check out how big and open that is. I mean, that's nice. Hydraulic pump. And then another storage container. But all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button for more content. I got about three more Tiffins coming here in the next couple days that I will be doing tours of. But again, this is the 2024 Tiffin Allegro. 32 SA. My name is Hunter. Have a wonderful night. See ya.